Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Laura London Fitness Show. Today I have a special guest. She is a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Anastasia and we are going to be sharing her story and she traveled on a bus here to get here last night. She arrived at like 6.45 in the morning so it's, this is amazing. So welcome Anastasia. Thank you so much for inviting you to your beautiful house and can't wait to see this video done at any and see it on your YouTube channel. Again, thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's my pleasure. It is so we met in Miami at a YouTube event. We sat next to each other and part of the event was talking about doing collaborations. So along with doing this interview today, we're also going to be doing a workout video. So make sure to look for that. But Anastasia has an amazing, amazing story. First of all, just look at her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> but Anastasia, you started at a very young age with ballet. So why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself and your story? Because it's really, I was so impressed with her when I met her. Well, first of all, when I just started ballet, first thing my mom said that before I started walking, I actually started dancing. Ah. So apparently that was my future to be a ballerina. So I started in, in Russian in her ballet. President at that time of ballet was um, Maya Podsetska. Mm -hmm. Those who are in the ballet, they know who she is. She's like Arnold Palmer, Tiger Woods in golf, if you like into golfing. So she was very famous, unfortunately she passed away last year, but um, she was 94. I started uh, her school, I was really happy, ballet progressed throughout the years. I was talented, as I think people call me talented. But it hasn't lasted too long because when I was age of seven, my mom actually has three companies and one of them based in Spain. So one moment with Spain with my mom, uh, we went to a little mini beach uh, and they had a really old putting green. Mm -hmm. So I went to that putting green and I said, well, what is this? Like, <laughs> what is sport? So she said, well, you grab this stick, she didn't know it called club, a ball, and you play 18 holes. So I play 18 holes. I said, cool, can I have a night again? She paid another one year and we went and played another 18 holes. Wow. I was really happy and after that for two and a half years I asked my mom to start playing that unique sport. Um, so you some, went from ballet to playing golf? At that time I didn't play, I just was asking my okay. mom when I was seven. Um, but after two and a half years my mom realized she wasn't just, I wasn't just a child who would ask for a doll right. for like a couple of weeks and then forget. I was asking for two and a half years about the same thing. And she realized that she was in front of just like a human. Mm -hmm. That was her voice. She said, if I would know where to find a car and the money, I would actually take the money and take the car to go and play golf. Mm -hmm. So she found a coach, she found a place where to practice. And I started practicing. Um, but my mom wanted to make sure that I actually has something like talent or there's a future for that, not just a temporary game. Right. So my mom took me to uh, Ireland and Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Both coaches told me the same thing that I have a future in golf. Mm -hmm. um, that maybe right now I don't play as good because I just started, but other girls might play better than me. Right. But in the future I might play better than them. Right. Um, I was really happy to hear that when I come back to Russia, I played my first tournament, which was the Russian Open Championship. It's a big tournament for juniors, mm -hmm. just like if you have US Championship here for golfers, mm -hmm. that was the same thing. Right. And when I played it, it was my first tournament, I won it. I got second place. Ooh, second place? Oh my gosh. I was very really excited because the girl who got actually first place, she played six years of golf. So it was such a big difference. And you played how many? Two months. Two months. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's pretty impressive. So that was my first win. I was really happy. I played more tournaments. Um, really exciting to keep playing golf. Some people over time ask me, if, well, do you want to make a decision? Do you want to stay in ballet or you want to choose golf? And I'll say the same thing. I, it's not time for me to decide. But because of my hard schedule, I wake up at 6 in the morning, I'll go to school, then ballet, then by 10 p.m., after two hours of driving from ballet to golf course, practicing for an hour with my coach, and driving back, doing my homework in the car by 1 in the morning. For example, I'll be at home, mm -hmm. then go to bed and wake up at the same time, same routine. Oh my gosh, that's years. a lot. 
after two years as a junior, mm -hmm. as a just 10 year old and 11 year old, mm -hmm. my body just gave up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't handle that anymore. Mm -hmm. So I, at that time I made a decision. I kind of started fading away my love with ballet. I really like modern dance, right, it's a different right. kind. So I thought, why should I try completely new dance if I already have goal for that? I already know I'm good at it and I want to progress in that. Mm -hmm. So that was my decision to quit ballet, ballet and I started golfing. Okay. But golf is such a unique game in Russia. It's new, it's usually for wealthy people. There's mm -hmm. no junior, there's no academies as much as right. you do here. At that time when I started playing golf in those 10, we had only two golf courses for entire Russia. <laughs> two and golf courses for the, wow. And two of them were in Moscow, which I'm originally from. And so here we are in Florida, where there's a golf course around every corner. When we visit Ireland, they have in such a small country, 580 golf courses. Oh, we have wow. only two for biggest country in the world. Yeah. So it was such a small amount and not many golfers and coaches as well. So because our coaches are ex-tennis players or ex-hockey players, they kind of have the same swing. But it's not the same game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So my mom decided to take me somewhere where I can actually progress my golf mm -hmm. and also learn English. Mm -hmm. So we moved here in Orlando because I wanted the biggest place on Orlando, Florida, where you can learn about golf. Right, People right. travel here to visit the biggest academies. So when I moved, um, I moved actually to Tampa first. Mm -hmm. School didn't last day. School was nice, but not an academy. So I left a different coach, which I stick to, Mike Bender, great coach. I mm -hmm. learned a lot throughout the game. Mm -hmm. um, I switched a couple high schools that was pretty unique because of the English they teach. So I needed to go to a different school. Then I learned English, then I went to Wait, you came school. here not knowing any English, correct? Yes, right. I know how Very to say little. only hello and bye. <laughs> Everything I know right now, it's I learned throughout eight years being here. Wow. So it's been a struggle when I just moved here with the friends. Wow. Mm -hmm. type, so wow so place. so that's that's what's so interesting Anastasia because here you are you're having this this golfing career and, you, and you've been doing it and you're really really good at it but you're finding that you love the arts and you love feeling you know beautiful and putting on the makeup and you just wake up one day and say I'm gonna start a YouTube channel I'm not golfing anymore Yes, that's definitely how it happened. It's kind of dramatically, I had a really dramatic change between ballet and golf mm -hmm. when I quit it. I had like school issues at that time, so it's kind of dramatically quitting ballet and studying golf completely. Right. And then the same thing now happened. Hopefully, the three is a lucky number. I don't have to go mm -hmm. another dramatic change. I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you. I think you're in the right place. So that is an amazing story. So tell people a little bit about your YouTube channel and what they're going to find there. Yes, absolutely. Um, four categories that I do is DIYs, fashion, hair, and makeup. Fashion is something I teach throughout the years. My mom really high fashion trends. I'm really good at it. Yes. That's my major, so I know everything about the trends, what it coming, how to do the tips and the tricks for your body, how to cover something that you want to cover, something that you want to express. When it comes to DIYs, I'm great in crafts. I was enjoying doing that for high school. It could be unique or true. Like, I really like following trends as well. The latest video was the Choker. The Choker, I saw that. That's so popular. That was really even cute. Even back in the 90s or even 17th century when they actually started first introducing them when it comes to the fashion. Yes. Um, hair from high school, quick hairstyles to way out of gas. <laughs> to really elegant looks as well as makeup, I like doing tips mm -hmm. and tricks for someone who wants to have bigger lips, bigger eyes, or anything. Mm -hmm. To fantasy makeup, makeups that I'm about to start for Halloween. Ooh, that's exciting! Mm -hmm. Just in time, yeah, for the Halloween. Halloween season. Fabulous! All right, so tell everyone the name of your YouTube channel, and we're gonna put the links uh, below this video too. <laughs> My name is Anastasia, and my last name is Azbunzova. I know it's hard to pronounce, but... That's why I'm happy first name. <laughs> <laughs> Links are below my first and last name, Anastasia Azbunzova. Please join my YouTube channel. You can learn a lot throughout my YouTube channel, and I'm really happy that I'm here with Laura London today. It was a beautiful last name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's easy to say. Yeah. <laughs> and people always think I live in London. It's very funny. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. All right, well, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your story. When I met Anastasia and she started telling me all, all of the things that she had done in her, in her life, and she's so young still, that I was so impressed, and I wanted her to get on camera 
and share her story. So that's why she took a bus down here today since midnight last night and now we're here. So everyone, please go visit her channel, subscribe, watch all her videos. They are fabulous. Send us some love on this video. And Anastasia, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for inviting me. And everyone who is new, please subscribe to both of our channels. Yes. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye. bye. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fabulous. Great job. Our